all I'm always starting with brushing through her tail. It's Frigg that is going to show you now. Uh, here you can see the end of her tail, the tip of her tail, and you are supposed to strip all the way down. It's really hurtful, so you can use a flating scissor, but I'm not using that on mine because she's a show can. But if you're not having a show can, then it's more acceptable of doing that. Just the end. And then you are supposed to work your way down from the tip that you have uh, stripped down and take the longest parts and just work your way down as you can see that I'm doing. Um, you can see that yeah she doesn't like it that much so it's good with a helping hand. Tail is often one of the most hurtful stripping places. Um, so here you can see that I'm taking down and working on or stripping out uh, the longest hairs. And a tail should have the um, a form or the shape of a carrot. So I'm working my way around the tail from the tip to the root of the tail and just work, uh, work it around like all the edges and all the yeah as you can see and also for the back of the tail the can usually gets a fan a tail fan um, so you should uh, strip it away the tail fan it's not supposed to be there but it's a lot of cans that are having them if they are not properly trimmed you can see her tail fan a little bit here in the video and just use your comb to brush through and also you can see how I'm using the uh, comb to just take it up but you can also take it up like I'm doing here with my hands you can see how I'm doing it with comb here take it against the hairs and then I will now fast forward the video a little bit to shorten the video but it's the same technique just strip around
the shape of a carrot. Uh, you can see maybe on the top of her tail it's a little bit more curled with her hair and that's the suprachiral gland. So you should be a little bit careful about that when you are stripping. And you can see that no, not that big of a tail fan is showing also on her back of her tail. Now I'm going to show you on Eid. And she has a big fan on her tail. As you can see here. It's not the biggest, but it is present. She is having another fur quality than Frigg, the light one. You can see here is the shape that you should strip away to make the carrot shape. So you're starting on the top again, as I did with Frigg, um, to uh, strip it down and then you're working on, I'm usually starting with the tail fan and then working my way around the tail to get the carrot shape. And it's really smart to just uh, like make the hair stand out like I'm doing here rubbing against the hairs and not with the hairs to see who you should actually take the hairs and just on the side now so working the way around and it's ideal to have baby powder when you're stripping a tail because then you're getting a better grip on the tail of the dog and then you're a lot faster with uh, taking the hairs out and it's not as hurtful as it normally is. Just removing the pen and when you are starting on stripping then you can go back to the first place or where you began stripping and then you can see that you should do yeah a little bit better work there so just work in progress she has a lot of like cur more curly coats I She's having a lot of different, like, a uh, huge difference from thick. So the coat quality of a can can really, yeah, be different. She has been only stripped her whole life. Normally if you're cutting the hair with the scissor, then it's getting bad quality. But she uh, has never been cut just stripped so a little bit more like fluffy curly wide coat and she doesn't like getting her tail stripped that much as you can probably see And just make a good transition over from uh, the butt area to the tail. I think I will fast forward a little bit now.
tail you can look, see that it's more of a carrot shape this one too 